Hey guys, it's Mac out here in uh, the Los Angeles area in uh, Southern California. It, uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning on uh, November 21st, 2014. I went to the swap meet yesterday, which was a swap meet day on a Thursday because they have them every day of the week out here. And this is about all I picked up out here and I thought I'd show you what the stuff is. Hopefully you don't hear all the airplanes going by and all the cars going by on the street. Hopefully it won't overshadow my voice. Anyway, here's what I got. Yeah, whoopee, huh? Big day. I don't know why people won't sell me their junk. Who knows? Anyway, pick this little uh, peanut gas tank up. They use this on the little motorized bicycles and stuff. We're good on some of the mini bikes as long as they have a single tube on the top. Or modify it to fit whatever you want. Anyway, this was $10. Beautiful inside, but no cap. And only one little bracket here on the bottom to kind of hold it on. It's all workable. Anyway, then I found another one for $15, but no bracket pieces under here. But it does have a cap and it's beautiful inside too. So for $10 and $15, really can't go wrong. I sell them for usually about 30 bucks each. Because I see them online for $89 each, which is kind of nutty. Anyway, and I, a friend of mine at the swap meet yelled at me and said, I got a clutch. So he said it's a half inch clutch. This is three quarter, ain't even close to half inch. Anyway, bushings just a little bit worn, but not bad. I got a box full of bushings. Luckily a go-kart company was closing down and I bought a bunch of the replacement bushings for in there. So that's good to go. Anyway, 20 bucks, I couldn't beat that. And then if I get these out of the way, I know you want to see me throw them, right? Nah. Don't want to dent them anymore. They got a couple little tiny dents in them already. Anyway, found two of these out there, 35 bucks for the pair. It's just little go pit trailers. It's all called a tow pit. Neat little chassis underneath. Got little spots here where you can put little bungee cords and stuff to put stuff on there. Little fenders, kind of neat. Yeah, it rolls real close to the ground here, so you could put it behind a mobility scooter and chase mini bike parts, put a box on here, put a chair on here and hook it up to your King of Lawn self-propelled lawnmowers and stuff and just ride around your yard. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's one of them. And the other one is right here. Pretty much the same. Pretty good shape. Not all scratched up underneath. Good wheels. Nice. Can't beat that at all. Anyway, let me walk in front of the camera and I'll disconnect you here. Try not to make too much noise as I disconnect you. And then I'll walk you over here and I'll show you what else I picked up here. I have no idea what this is. It's a cat mini bike. Has the disc brake caliper on there, but somebody Tried to weld on a little uh, scrub brake, I guess, here, and they kind of hacked up the plate a little bit here. Put some extra holes in here, you crazy fools. Why do you do that? Anyway, it's got a kickstand on it, but it's a little worn. And at least they didn't weld the handlebars on here. A lot of people do that, but it did. they did patch the a crack or something over here. Who knows? Anyway, it's got those front springs up there. I don't know if it's like a cat... Uh, MX Duster or what the heck it is. Who knows? Anyway, sorry about jiggling the camera, but my hands aren't as steady as they used to be at 62. Uh, it does have plastic shocks back here in the back. I have no idea why they're plastic shocks. They look almost like the very early taco shocks without the covers. Don't know. I'm sure they're Italian made. Anyway, the mini bike does have the the little hubcaps all the way around. Does look like I got a little bit of rot there in the rim there, but that's no real problem. Anyway, I got that bike there, the cat mini bike. 
and this one in a package deal I have no idea what this thing is some kind of a tote goat looking thing little deck on the back there I don't know do you put a box back there and carry junk around or what anyway they put a Greyhound 6.5 on it so I had to clean the carburetor a little bit on it I guess I like the way they hooked up this throttle here it's off a of 10 speed apparently and I guess you set the throttle and let the thing go I don't know you gotta let go and hold on to the handlebars how are you gonna back off the throttle if you get into a little bit of problem it does have adjustable handlebars here for the height I guess <laughs> little thumb screws there the handlebars are like galvanized I don't know what that's all about. It has a knock, a little knob here, almost like a Nova mini bike does. I guess you can probably take the front fork off for transport. I don't know. Got neat suspension down here. Anyway, nicely covered over the chain uh, clutch. It does have a chain set up here. It's not a belt drive tote goat type thing. Just a regular old chain clutch in there. Anyway. I got both of those bikes for $180, so that was a good deal. And the same guy had this thing, nobody wanted it. It does have the front suspension here. It's one of those Baja Motorsports bikes, I guess. Anyway, uh, it's got the headlight up on here, a little foggy up here. But it does seem to have the, the wires coming out of it, and they do go down beneath here, and... They do seem to go into the engine, so maybe it's got a lighting coil in it. Looks like the old 5.5 engine. Don't know. Anyway, it's in decent shape. I'm going to have to paint up the gas tank a little bit to try and get some kind of cash out of it. A little rust on the back fender. No problem. Anyway, it's got the chain guard and stuff. I'm going to have to clean that up too. No cover over the chain drive also. No belt drive on this one either. But I don't think these actually come with a belt drive. I'm not sure. Anyway, got the folding foot pegs. That's always good to have. And that was $70. And it runs. But you got to run it with a choke on. So I'm going to have to clean the carburetor on that too. Why do these people always let the carburetors get dirty and, and then sell them? Huh. Crazy. Anyway, that's about it. And I'll give this up. I've already gone over 7 minutes here. And that's it for the day, and it's a beautiful blue sky day out here in Southern California. Beautiful. Anyway, take her easy, guys. Hey, say hello to the neighbor's cat. Hey, neighbor cat. Hey, you going after birds or what? Hey, say hello to the people at home. There you go. Say hello. Oh, yeah, give them a little kiss. That's it. Thank you. See you guys. Car's going by now. I got to get to work.